Skeletons, it is Disney Queen Skelly here, and I am so sad to say this is the last reacting to video for Harley's channel because the other few videos that she has posted are um, reacting to my stuff, and I don't want it to be a chain reaction. So after this, I'm actually going to be looking at videos, uh, old videos from my first channel, Cute Baby Boo, which used to be cute and crazy, so we're going to be looking back at that channel until further notice. So anyways, to conclude Harley Baby's videos, we're going to be watching Ultimate Star Wars Quiz. I already took this one, you guys know how I did, so let's just see how she does. Hey Quizzes, Harley Baby 45 here. Back at it again with another quiz. This is the Ultimate Star Wars Quiz. Um, I am a Star Wars fan. Although there are some just like, you know, little tiny details and things like that that you really, not a lot of people actually get when you watch the movie. So let's see how well I do. I mean, it's true. I mean, unless you really look at those tiny details like I do when it comes to Disney movies, you're not gonna find them. But yeah, she is a pretty big Star Wars fan as am I. Well, I'm not like super big, but I think out of all of us, Hubby's like the biggest Star Wars fan. And it's funny because um, next year we all plan on getting our, our, t our uh, sides tattoo so I'm gonna get a resistance one they're gonna both get dark side ones the most legendary ship in the galaxy the Millennium Falcon can comfortably fit how many people in its cockpit looking back I think it's actually six people four hey okay oh yeah cuz seat seat right Admiral Raddus and Admiral Akbar both hail from which planet Real quick, Coruscant looks like croissant. <laughs> uh, Rylar? No, okay. R2-D2 is classified as what type of droid? He's an astromech. I didn't even know that. How does she know that? Hoppy didn't even know that. How much total does Obi-Wan Kenobi agree to pay Han Solo for safe passage to Alderaan? 17,000 credits? Okay. <laughs> That better have been a shot in the dark, or else I'm coming after you, woman. Which handmaiden of Queen Padme Amidala served as decoy for the queen? Sabe? Okay, that- I remember I took a shot in the dark with that one with Sabe, and I got it right. That's, again, a little too dumb. I think that's that. While serving as a stormtrooper, Finn was known as... FN218. Oh, God. Um, I think this one. Yay! Girl! Nah! <laughs> Ho da Dameron? Dameron? Was raised on. Yes, Dameron. Which planet? Tatooine would make sense, and it's not that. It's like it's the only planet we know other than Alderaan. <laughs> Approximately how many forms of C three P uh, blah, 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 blah. let's try that again. Approximately how many forms of communications does C three PO know? He I learned this recently. It's seven million. He knows a ton, but I would say more than five hundred thousand. Ouch. Okay. Which crime is not found on Jin Erso's rap sheet? Um. I didn't know that one either. Again, it's like the littlest details you have to pay attention to. Trade Federation leader Newt Gunray is assisted by a droid named... TC3? Okay, I'm sucking at this. She's doing about as great as I did, but she's still getting some questions right that I didn't even know the answers to. Figrin Dan, leader of the Cantina Band... Uh, Mo Modal no plays what instrument? Oh, there are times I can see the gears turning in her head. Like, how do I pronounce this? How do I pronounce this? How do I pronounce this? Oh, it's that freaking um. Is it the clue one? Yes. Okay. So I've also noticed as well that the questions that you know we got, she's pretty much doing the same thing I was doing with every single question. It was like maybe that sounds right, maybe that sounds right. I think that sounds right, and like. Usually it is not right. At the end of episode 7, Ray finds Luke Skywalker and says what? She doesn't say anything. 
good girl. Six. I got half. Okay. I'm okay with that. You're a huge Star Wars fan, but you not, might not have all the details down yet. Ain't that the truth? Nothing a few Star Wars movie marathons can't fix. You know what? I need to watch those Star Wars movies again because they are great. Well, that was the Star Wars quiz. That was actually very tricky. I'm surprised I got as many as I did. <laughs> Trust me, when I played, I'm surprised I got any of them. If you guys take this quiz, let me know um, how many you get. And in the comments below, let me know what side are you on? Are you for the light side or the dark side? Resistance! I am for the dark side, although some people say that I'm confused and I like to think I'm both, but... Yeah, who knows. Thank you so much for watching, Clint. I love you. So yes, as Hubby rudely stated, he is on the dark side. I am for the resistance. Boo. No one needs your opinion. <laughs> Why don't you take this quiz and see how many you get right? You know what, that's what I'm gonna do. One of these days I'm gonna sit his ass in this chair so he can take that quiz and then he... Can, then we can see how great his Star Wars knowledge is. So in this video, I will give Harley Baby a an 10 out of 10 for trying to take the quiz as well as we did. As well as I did. Um, I will get Hubby to take that quiz probably next time I end up filming in bulk. So hopefully you guys will be able to see that soon. Let's see how well the Star Wars kid can do on that quiz, eh? Harley Baby's channel and the video will be linked in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye little skeletons. Stay safe. I love you guys.